Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about Fixed Income, written by Sherman Alexi. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this work by Sherman Alexi is very interesting, it's very straightforward. Um, basically here in fixed income, our narrator pretty much tells us that he gets a job at McDonald's. Um, and he tells us that in this job at McDonald's, it's, it's pretty much all black people and Hispanics. Um, and what's kind of really grueling here is that, um, a lot of them have college degrees. Um, you know, even there's one individual, he has a degree in electrical engineering and he's just making sure that there's enough, there's like two pickles on the burgers. Um, there's, there's like the 45 year old woman that has three kids and, you know, she like the narrator doesn't know how she's paying for, um, her bills because they don't make a lot at McDonald's. Um, and it's just, you know, it's black people and Hispanics and our narrator is, you know, half white, half Indian. Um, and he's like, this is just so unfair. You have these, you know, um, minorities that are working at McDonald's, some of them have college degrees or some of them are in college getting college degrees uh, and they're working here and they shouldn't be and their lives are hard and they have bills to pay and families to, to take care of and kids to feed and, you know, they all have to do this work at McDonald's and the, the narrative also says there's no white people, it's all just you know um you know minorities um there's like one old white man that works at this mcdonald's that the narrator becomes friends with and um they go smoking together here and there and they talk about their lives this old man like his wife died and they talk about how you know the husbands are supposed to die first and the widows are supposed to live and talk about their husbands and gossip about their husbands but in this situation, the, the old husband is this old white man. He's he lived past his wife and he befriends this worker, this teenager at McDonald's. And um, he wants the teenager to call him grandfather because he's much older than he is. And he knows that, you know, Indians are they have heritage and respect and all that kind of stuff. So this is a very, I guess you can say down to earth, very relatable story. Um, many Americans have worked at McDonald's, even billionaires, um, you know, have worked at McDonald's mm -hmm. on their way to becoming billionaires. Or, you know, many Americans have worked at fast food restaurants on their way to becoming whatever they become. Um, but this instance, like, just really shows us um, well, the plight of, of minorities in the U S, um, it's kind of crazy that some people have degrees and they do have to go back to work the jobs that they were working when they were teenagers, because I mean, sometimes you have to pay the bills and sometimes your degree is not enough to, to get you where you want to be. So the narrator is very depressed and is very unhappy and is very kind of like sad because all of these people, they should be somewhere, but from the narrator's perspective, they're nowhere. And um, they're just trying to survive on the bare minimum because they just need to enough money to, to get the bare necessities of life. And that's what we get from this narrator. And... And yeah, in terms of deeper meaning here, in terms of analysis, I think the narrator has a lot to think about, um, his own lot in life, where he wants to go. I mean, he, he, he hasn't made some good choices in his life. Um, ultimately, all of the individuals within this McDonald's that he's working at, it's kind of like looking at all their life choices, you know, those that went to college, those are who are in college, those who have children, you know, those whose life didn't go that well. And I mean, I guess that that's the reality of life is that, well, we don't get where we want to be. Sometimes we don't get what we want. Sometimes some people 
you know, if everybody could have the perfect life, you know, um, everyone would finish university, you know, get a really high degree, earn a six figure income, have the nice five bedroom house with the Bugatti, um, you know, have the wonderful kids, wonderful house, smart children, you know, um, family nights on weekends and the beautiful, wonderful life that everybody always dreams of, but it's really hard to get. Um, most people never get it. And if we're looking at a global perspective, that type of ideal only exists in our dreams. Um, and this, this short story by Sherman Alexi kind of like blows it all up because it shows you, well, some of these people have worked hard. They, they got all this great education to become something great, to become something wealthy, but that just didn't happen. And some of these people, maybe they got married and then got divorced. So we, we're just going to introduce all these types of different lives of dreams that were smashed, things that were done, the consequences that were taken. And I mean, even the old white man that the narrator befriends, I mean, you know, he got married, he lived the life and now he's like on his own. His wife is dead and he's just like an old man at McDonald's. So it's kind of like you get the young, the old, the middle aged, the ambitious, the non ambitious. All of them are working in this um, congregation of McDonald's and they all are dealing with the consequences of life, of working hard, of not working hard, of being ambitious, of not being ambitious. And life is just, life is just that. It's just sometimes it just stares at you in the face and the consequences are everywhere and it's messy sometimes and it's unorganized sometimes. And even if you think it's a straight line, sometimes life is not a straight line because most people would want education, money, wealth, then you meet somebody, then you have, you know, you buy a house, then you have kids, then you live happily ever after. Well, life doesn't always work that like that. Some people never get any of those things. Some people get some of those things. Some people only get children. Some people get the, the perfect mate. Some people don't. But that's the thing we call life. That is the human condition that we all have to face. Um, but yeah, that is fixed income. I mean, in terms of for the title, I mean, this is all about money. Uh, all the, these people that work at McDonald's, they work there because of money. It's not because they love to work there. It's because they need money to pay bills. Um, you know, it's a fixed income. Uh, well, the income is the important thing here. That... McDonald's' is income is, you know, you're not going to get a six figures working at McDonald's. You're not going to, you know, they're going to make sure that they try to get you as close to that minimum wage as possible. Um, you know, because McDonald's and, and just like many other types of minimum wage jobs, they just try to get, you know, what's legally allowed. You know, most jobs, that's pretty much it. It's what's legally allowed to pay you. That's what they'll pay you. I mean, if tomorrow the federal government said the minimum wage was like five bucks, I guarantee you McDonald's would have it changed before you blank. They wouldn't bat an eyelash. And, and you know, just like every other company that wants to make money, that's just how the way, that's just the way the world works. So that's your fixed income, yeah. Um, so that's all I have to say about this work. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.